Um, so Brett's going to have the title, 92, October, until he runs into your favorite, Yokozuna. Yes. WrestleMania 9, Las Vegas, the debut of Jim Ross. Uh, we saw the two doinks, Money, Inc. versus Hogan and Beefcake. Um, I forget what else was on that show. Macho Man comes in on, they're carrying him, you know, on one of them, um, what do yes. they call cars or whatever. But this is an image that most people that saw WrestleMania 9 remember. So the way the match ends, Brett's going for the sharpshooter. Got has Yoko's legs in the sharpshooter, which that in itself is very, very impressive. I don't impressive. care what anybody says. Because Yoko, <laughs> even in 93, Yoko was 450, maybe maybe 475, but he was not probably 550 pounds or whatever they had him advertised. He was at. busting toilets, yes. But he was big. Brett picks his legs up, has him in the sharpshooter. Fuji throws the salt in the eyes. Yoko wins the title. Here comes our hero, Terry Balea, Hulk Hogan. Mm -hmm. Um who beats Yoko in 18 seconds for the title. So Terry Balea, Hulk Hogan leaves the five-time WWF champion from WrestleMania nine. Bret Hart leaves without the belt. This is why I bring this up, Medusa. Bruce Pritchard has stated over and again and again and over and over and again that the whole reason they put the title on Hulk, who had come back, you know, a couple months prior, was to have the European tour so they could draw. Oh. Bret Hart is a big fucking deal in Europe. Yeah. So in a, in a loud, clear voice for all of your fans to hear, is Bruce full of shit or what is this? <laughs> Bruce knows more than we do, or he's just the best swerver in the business. So he's the one that worked with them behind the scenes. So who are we to say, you know, what, who are we to tell Bruce if he's right or wrong? Either he's a great bullshitter or else it's the truth, right? Um, Bruce is, a, he's a smooth talker anyway. You know, and I don't know why he would lie about that, but I think there's some things we'll never know. Damn, you gave a company answer. I hate when you do that. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, in, in all seriousness, one of the reasons, too, they, they return to Brett is he he is, and after Hulk leaves. Is he, he is the company man. Uh, they well, can always rely on him. And he was yeah. an international star. Brett Hart on the marquee over in Europe, Drew money. Um, and he and they knew he was gonna have good wrestling matches. Yeah. So was it what was it about Brett, do you think, that European audiences like so much? That he was a more approachable, likable, accountable wrestler. Um, he was a heart throbber. Um, he was people could relate to him. He you didn't see Brett sway too much. It was just, this is Brett. This is what you're getting. And I think with Hogan, they saw more of a character, unrealistic character that, that is just, it was like, be like a, not BS, but just, I don't know. It wasn't real. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was bigger than life and he was in great. Cause the character, I mean, he's was the, you know, biggest, star of the day but for some reason i mean brett really got stifled and i'm gonna say it wasn't because of you know just the wwf or or vince i think that a lot had to do with control of terry i don't know for sure i it's just me assuming because why else would someone be pushed out so hard well here's the other thing that that makes and fucked day. around with <laughs> yeah, it makes this difficult for Brett, especially. So he loses the title to Yoko, only to have Yoko beat or lose to Hogan. Hogan will be defeated at King of the Ring 93 after the European tour, and he's out of the company. We don't see Hulk Hogan in WWF again until 2002 um, when they bring back the NWO in a horrible angle. But anyway, we'll get to that some other day. Mm. Brett has said, and others have said, that the idea was to have Hulk and him at SummerSlam to the point where they had pictures taken for marketing material that was never used. Do Ooh. you buy that, Medusa? Do you remember that, that that happened? No. I mean, but there's a lot of things that were done even during my time. For WrestleMania 10, it was announced that I was wrestling 
Debbie Combs and they already had that marketed and ready to go, but that never happened. So I, I mean, I might have to believe it. I got you. So we are going to wrap up, but what we're going to wrap up with. So we have a nice breaking point is Brett getting the title back oh. at WrestleMania 10. You just, there's my man. Up. That's my look man at, right there. Yo, Brett, and, and look at your big man that you used to do his hair. Yes. Yoko yes. And, and Fuji looking devious as ever out there. Um, yes. So Bret Hart runs 93 without the world title. Yoko's got yes. the title. Yoko takes on Undertaker at Rumble. Brett wins the Rumble along with Lex Luger. They become the first joint pair. So they do this little triangle thing. Brett's going to wrestle Owen in the opening match of 10, which some people still say is a top five WrestleMania match ever. The chat, you can you can tell me if I'm wrong there, but I'm fairly certain I have that right, that most people are putting that in the top five, if not 10 WrestleMania matches ever. And we've got 40 WrestleManias at this point. So that's a lot. Yeah. The other thing is that Luger is going to lose to Yoko by DQ. Brett's going to beat Yoko for the title. Um, that will end Yokozuna's uh, run as the champ. Is that and WrestleMania 10? That's WrestleMania 10. That's in New yeah. York City, Madison Square Garden. You were on the card. Yeah. Um, this is the main event. Brett, Yoko, 10. So we know they went to Brett because of Ric Flair. They take a year off of Brett and they have Yoko basically run, you know, uh, Yoko and Hogan anyway, run 93 and Yoko runs into the winter of 94 um, or early 94 anyway. And Brett is going to have the title until Thanksgiving or Survivor Series rather. Bob Backlund takes the title mm. off. Yes. But why did Vince go back to Brett, do you think, for this second title run? Again, because he's a company man. He knows he can count on Brett. He knows he's not going to cause any shit. And again, it's just kind of like how he felt with me. He knew what he was getting. I was a company girl and so was Brett. Well, and apparently there's some Brett folks in the chat. Mr. Kelvin Sanchez says, best WrestleMania opener, Brett versus Owen. Of as a point, well, as a point of, of reference, Medusa, 30 years ago. 30 years ago, it's still the standard. Bret yeah. Hart, Owen Hart, um, two amazing professional wrestlers. Well, because they were dancing together and they wanted to have a great match and they just knew they could. And it was just, I mean, it was just that beautiful, beautiful thing. You know, it's not about putting yourself over. It's about putting the whole match and each other over and making it look good. And it's telling a story. Telling a story. That's what's so beautiful about that. 